Hi everyone, this is Jessica McAllister coming at you with a five minute moment for my podcast at socialworkprofessor.com and I'm glad you're here because, you know, I wanted to talk about the challenges that we're being presented right now as social workers, being able to access children. And again, I've talked about this a couple months ago and so now, a couple months later here in the eyes of COVID, right, we're in late August, getting ready to launch a new semester this fall, trying to teach social work students how to get out there and do assessment, intervention, and evaluation with clients. But how do we do that right now? How do I share practices with you that you can get out in the field or be in the virtual field of helping children? It's really hard right now because, uh, you know, we're not able to get out in the community. And I just invite you to really explore the conversation conversation that's going on right now. I've put in um, the YouTube playlist that I use a lot for my courses, a couple of videos that are really current that talk about today's challenge with accessing children. Children are home. Children are getting ready to go back to school here in late August, but the majority of children, I believe, are just kind of home. (laughs) And parents are trying to figure out, uh, you know, in all the different states across the nation, there's different rules and policies about children going back to school, um, the health and safety of that, but also how are we going to manage students um, that are home having a heart, you know, children that are home all day with parents or caregivers, you know, we're not able to go into those homes because of COVID social distancing. There's lots of different issues going on right now. So just stay tuned, watch a lot of the current conversation and be a part of that current conversation that's going on right now. I've seen so many different presentations and webinars, webcasts, conversations, trainings on the internet this whole summer 2020, uh, opening up this conversation. One of the practices that I know that has been being used a lot out uh, in the field right now, even in the in the eyes of COVID, you know, in the face of COVID, is a lot of sanitation, depending on the area that you live, depending on the rules and the comfort level of the family, of course, we have to respect the public health of what's going on when working with clients. So, but one of the uh, practices I've seen that's being used a lot right now is a lot of collateral contact, a lot of phone calls, a lot of video use, also um, interviewing children in this situation right now is, is really challenging because we can't go to the schools and interview children. One of the, I guess, kind of classic practices of CPS intervention, child protective intervention, is going to the schools and doing uh, in individual interviews with children, but that's not happening either because we can't go to schools. So I encourage you again, I've said this a, a couple different times, to stay abreast, stay right there of on top of this topic. Um, you know, and this is something that we're going to talk a lot about in the classes that I teach, the Child Welfare uh, developmental impacts classes. I'm going to share with students um, this challenge. They already know this challenge exists, but we're going to try to look at solutions and ways to approach this situation, build on the conversation that's already happening on this topic. Um, You know, I'd love to do some interviews with some local child welfare workers to ask them, you know, what are you doing right now? What are your practices? I invite other uh, child welfare workers to to connect with me so that we can, you know, converse on this topic and share this with students. Um, There are all types of protocols and practices that are being put into place wherever you live. So let's start looking at this, really paying attention communicating around this topic of how we address child safety in the face of COVID. Um, things will be changing as we know in the future to the to the betterment of our public health and safety. But right now we have to figure out a really effective way. So I just opened that huge conversation to really start paying attention and, and being close to those conversations. Thanks for listening to my five-minute moment. And we will see you and talk to you and hear from you very soon. Bye-bye.